mentioned earlier a lot of people taking advantage of the nice weather. Yes, they're heading down to Dolphin Island. That, that's where Steve Alexander is for that report. It's not California, but surfers found the waves pretty challenging off Dolphin Island today. The takeoffs were smooth, but the landings weren't. Hap Kern of Mobile was out with a bodyboard and described the best way to surf in lower Alabama. Well, you see those guys bobbing around out there. They're just looking at the horizon, waiting for a hump to come along. And uh, when the uh, waves hump up, uh, you pick a good one. Some found the strong waves good for fishing, too. And town leaders say many people here this weekend are from out of state. Trisha Kerr owns the Sandbox Gift Store. She's also the president of the Dauphin Island Chamber of Commerce. The real estate agents that I've talked to, they, they're booked out. So it's been tremendous. It's really, really been a good summer. We met three people from out of state who are spending a week on the island. Where are you from? Louisville, Kentucky. Wow, what brought you all the way down here? Vacation. Beach. What do you think about it? It's lovely. Awesome. Love it. It is. It's beautiful down yeah. here. It is awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> and town officials say events like Sunset Jazz concerts are helping to bring out locals too. It's it's kind of been a banner summer. It's probably the strongest summer since the oil spill, so since 2010. Elizabeth Weinecker and her family are from Mobile and brought their bikes down for the three-day weekend. We love the small town atmosphere, that it's quiet, and we feel like it's safe for our children. Many things to do, but not much time left to do them, as the sun sets on summer on Dolphin Island. Reporting from Dolphin Island, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. And it's always that way, right? Time flies when you're having fun. Of course. <laughs>